The worst part is, is waiting two months on our pre-order. But the best part is, is unboxing it. So let's see what we got. Today, we get our nice, beautiful bird, the Corsair from Flightline. We picked it up for motion for a decent price. And man, is she big. She's a 1600 millimeter wingspan plane. That's gonna be my biggest plane to date. I'm looking forward to this. She's packing a 50, 55 motor. That's 34 kV. Swing this big old 18 inch prop by 12. That is, whew, that is massive. Um, Hopefully I don't break it on the first try. It's about 90% scaled, so we can re go on the retracks a little higher, give us a little bit more clearance, which is, which is a really good thought. And to make her balance a lot easier, so you don't have to be adding your own leather weights, there's ballast in the nose within the cowling, so you can add and remove those leather weights with what type of battery. So you can go from 4,000 to a 6,000, which is a really nice battery range. So let's get in her, let's see what happens. Um, to note, we do have a bit of damage from shipping on one side, so we'll see if any damage occurs inside. And as you can tell, these are pretty well packaged, even inside the shipping box itself. It's nice and tight, which means the box can't ship inside the other box, helping prevent shipping damage. And as we can see here on the very top, we got some awesome some decals which help us choose a couple different planes, which is a really awesome little detail. So that way you're not just stuck in one type of scheme for your plane. So let's get this little top packaging off and see what's inside. As we get into it, the wings on top with the horizontal stabilizer with the nice carbon fiber spar. Got the manual. And holy cow, that's a big wing. That is, <laughs> that is, that is all absolutely amazing. That's the horizontal stabilizer with hinge, fully hinge rudder with two connections going back to the servo. And I just realized this is a clam shell. It's two different halves, which adds and helps protect to the plane quite a bit which is awesome to see since this is a slightly expensive, it really is an expensive purchasing item. So having all this extra protection is wonderful. Ah, man, that is a beautiful wing. So the wing was on top right here. We got the rudder. Ooh. Some plastic assortment pieces. Uh, Prop adapter. Ah, and cabling, ribbon cables. So we have one connection coming in from the wings into the fuselage, which makes going to the airfield a really nice and speeds up getting everything put together. And oh my, oh my. That is beautiful. Holy crap, that's a big motor. This, this is gorgeous. This is, stay, stay. I, I don't know what to say about these. These are, <laughs> these are massive. As you can tell by my, by my delight, I'm very, I'm, I'm just speechless. This, holy crap. I, I didn't expect to see the nice little detail of the exhaust from this motor itself. The big old double wasp, eight, 18 double wasp engine, and that is awesome. I haven't seen that detail in other double wasp in, um, planes, like a Hellcat, P47, but that's cool. That is, <clears throat> that is awesome. And as you see as we get in the inside, we have a big old area so you can get that battery in and there's enough space for your hand. Plus the EC5 connection and the main board. So that way our ribbon cables just come in from the side, or well actually below, I apologize, from below. Plug in, one connection, you're done. Just screw her in. And we actually have brass inserts for the screws. So that means a that actually adds lots of lifetime of playing. So we're not wearing out a plastic piece. 
I love that little detail of having the brass inserts. Let's see what one of these wings look like. And, oh, good thing I have my safety knife here. And with, as we're pulling out the wing, we start noticing some beautiful details on this. We have full Metal Gear servos, which is an awesome little thing for me because hopefully I won't break these. We have ball link clevises and doors to actually hide or retracts. And they're going to be rotate, they're going to come out and rotate. So, oop, and it's going to be awesome. I'm looking forward to that. And of course, it makes that sound effect. We have fully hinged control surfaces an actual split moving flat like the actual Corsair. Whew, she is beautiful. A nice little LED. I'm glad at this price point we get some actual lights in the plane because that's a beautiful little detail. And we're going to go back to the fuselage really quick. Put her up on the stand so I don't knock this down. And we have a retractable wheel in the back. A nice recess area to actually get the rudder and horizontal stabilizer on together. So that way it'll be nice secure and you don't have to worry about it. Yep, some little plastic details plus keep the wings together. Gotta get our rudder out. And of course I have to have my knife on me. Ah, Little, there's a little bit of friction, but it's nice. It moves pretty free. It is a beautiful rudder. Got nice panel details. Even has an arrow to tell you which way it's supposed to go, so you don't want to install it wrong. Get that hatch back on. Of course, they don't paint the inside, so it doesn't hide in the shadow very well, sadly. When it starts marling up, we start mulling up the foam in that section. That'd be an awesome little detail. Love seeing manufacturers do more often. So we have two ball link connections going to the same servo. So that can be a little bit of pain to get correct on both sides, but it does mean the detail in the rudder. You don't have the weird cutout sometimes. So you know it's just take and give, but overall it looks beautiful. Fully hinged again, like all the other surfaces. A little flexy, but they got the they got a nice little carbon fiber rods. Um, in the wing itself, it's a multi-construction wing, so you have fiberglass, wood, um, extruded aluminum, and carbon fiber spars with all in this wing in a hollow cavity, make it super rigid, strong, and still light. So it's awesome to see they spend that investing time just in the engineering and on the material side as well. So hopefully this plane flies well and will last a long time. And of course, if a crash happens, easy to repair. Same thing on this wing, we got some... Ah, this side has the landing light. Got the navigation light on the side. Of course, the beautiful doors there. And the one connection with all the, all the servos. One thing that might be a little bit hard to pick up, there's a crap ton of connections right there. So having one connection go on the fuse, and all I have to do saves me a lot of time. I personally have made some of these connectors for other planes because it's a hassle to deal with. And the final thing we get into is this prop. They're the proprietary style with the prop adapter. It's a give and take. If this thing goes out of printing, you can't get any longer, so you have to go try to find a different type of prop adapter. But with a big old 18-inch prop, only being able to replace one blade, does save a lot of money. So there's pros and cons, and overall, it looks pretty well manufactured. And it's nylon reinforced, fiber impregnated, Ooh, and it is stiff. This is the way it's supposed to be. And we just got the spinner. We'll go ahead and get some close-ups on that to make it easier to see. But there's a lot. Oh, and the lead ballast. So they give you two additional lead ballasts so you can put in this plastic cowling. Just two screws, a couple screws holding on the plastic cowling. You can remove that, add and remove ballast for your different batteries. 
So that way if you go up to a big old 6 cell, you can take some weight out and you're not punished for having a heavier battery and still get the same amount of flight time as you did on a lighter battery. After getting this plane and inspecting all the pieces, looks like there's no shipping damage. So the work they spent on the extra time of getting the custom foam to hold all these pieces in that dual clamshell design was, they did an amazing job. They, I'm glad they spent the extra minute doing that because it's well needed and my package is on damage. Thank you again Motion and Flightline for another happy shipping. So with everything out, I think we're ready to put this plane together. So let's, let's go ahead and do that. As you can tell, we got the plane put together and that prop on. It's time to see how fast she'll go. Let's see what she can pull. <laughs> oh 
Okay, let's do that again. That was a lot more than I was expecting. Um, can I get someone else here to th do the throttle part? Do you need two hands for real? E yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, you want me holding it or doing the throttle uh, part? Throttle part. Okay. All right. Here goes nothing. Punch it, Scotty. Punch it? Punch it. Punch it. On the ceiling are spinning. Hit that throttle cut. <laughs> it's it. That's <laughs> awesome. your shirt just like. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Holy crap. Uh, yeah, uh, I want to know how much weight that'll pull. Okay, let's do it. Whew. Holy. Holy. <laughs> Jeepers. <laughs> oh man. That, that was crazy. That was. That was nuts. So what we're doing right here is we have like a, a actually pull tester kind of like use for fish so we can actually see how much it's pulling. So let me go ahead and tear. Go for it. You ready? Yep. Yeah, you better run, Jared. Just make this one slower. Got it? Yeah, 185 ounces on that six cell battery. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm gonna disconnect your quick battery. Math! Math! What type of pounds is that? More more than 10. There. How many ounces? 185. Ooh, that's oh, almost that's 11, 11, 11 and change. 11 and change in pounds. You know, that's pulling more weight than what I was born at. <laughs> Doubles my weight. <laughs> Holy! Up and a half pounds. I yeah, this is this is awesome. Um, with that, this is a heftier plane. So we actually have some shock absorbing retracts. I suggest actually working these a couple times or put lit um, graphite grease like in locks in there because they are a little stiff at first. There may be some uh, machinery machinery problem problems that occurred so there's feels like there's a burr in there you have to work out. So I would go ahead put some graphite in there work them a couple times before that landing so you don't get that really hard bounce the first time which could up uh, damaging your plane. Um, I'm still recovering from that thrust track. Holy crap. That was amazing. <laughs> Um, and with that is we do we did put in a large six cell battery and it's easy to get them out. There's plenty of room to get your hands in there with the battery even for another um, larger graphene best 6,000 milliamp we tried. We'll go ahead and demonstrate that really quick. As you can see this is a big old battery compared to the 5,000 pulled out. It's almost double the size. And she still fits in very easily. I might need a slightly longer strap, but you can get your hands in there still and take the battery in and out. That, that, that'll make getting things in and out of this plane nicely. We see carbon fiber. This plane blows me away. It is gorgeous. We have nice scale flaps, nice decals. Um, these are some of the nicer decals I've seen from Flightline compared to the B24, which we'll slide on. These are full stickers, so they're very easy to apply. And they have a lot of stick to them because trying to get on the elevator on the right side, we pulled off paint. And this is just a small oversight they had is you have to cut your actual decal to get around to the horn. They didn't plan for that. And it, it makes an extra hassle trying to get on these small details where I pulled off paint on accident, trying to get around that horn. It's an extra frustration they could help me avoid. So let's get into some of the beautiful details this plane has. So we have fully hinged control surfaces everywhere that will help make this plane last a long time. And we have LEDs on the wings. And so let's go ahead and pop the battery back in to see those light up. And now we know we have a six cell on the plane. Let's turn this back around so you can see it. 
As you can tell, we have the green, the red, LEDs on the wingtips. Retract these. Um, a good thing to know about using the retract. Ah, the light's on now. I had, um, when I plugged in the battery, I had to switch up, but gears down, which made the light turn off. Um, but since we're here, we can talk about how long the gears take to go up. And now? Now. Yes. <laughs> um, so yeah, there is a massive delay. This is checking for logic in the sequence of what it's supposed to do when I go up. And it took six whole seconds. But the delay going down isn't as long. It starts working immediately getting the doors open and the gear to come down. So the good thing to note about that when you're flying and trying to get the gear up, be patient. It's going to take a while. That kind of sucks, but the doors and the actual pants right here are a gorgeous detail. I'm glad they added them. I'm going to have to get my numbers on there because it's awesome to have the numbers on the pants. And these wheels are nice and soft. So if you do come in a little hot with that wheels being nice and soft and the, re and the springs with the inside the gear itself, they'll help land this heavy bird. Because we weighed the bird and she came to be about roughly eight and a half pounds on her heavier Turnigy battery. She'd be closer to eight pounds on her lighter Jin's Ace battery. Um, and that's a nice thing. We can have balance, get some weight out of there so we can fly the heavier battery and still have a long run time of with the extra milliamps. Um, this, I want all these nice control surfaces. They move very well. There's no binding anywhere. They did an amazing job on those. I'm really happy about those. However, they were a pain in the butt to install because I had to set all the linkages myself, even receiving the linkages for the ailerons and flaps. I had to go ahead and adjust those to be correct. On one side, it's all the way in. I'm gonna have to actually take them off later on and trim up one so I'm not fatiguing, fatiguing the plastic on the ball hinge. And I wanna rotate this plane around Let's get a better shot of the beautiful retractable gear on the back with a small little detail of plastic hook. It doesn't actually come down, which I'm fine with. I'm just happy it's there. I'm fine with it not coming down because we could snag on something during landing. So it's, it's a nice little detail to have. It's beautiful. As we come down, we get a nice, nice, very nice secure hatch. We'll get, bring those back up. Nope. There we go. Like I said, be patient. They take a moment. They take a moment. And we can finally move on to this pilot. The pilot seem a little small, which is kind of disappointing. And it's disappointing he's not a full body figure at this size of plane, but for $400, it's still a good plane. And then we can get to our lengthy discussion. The window. There's a window! Why is there a window on a fighter? We, <laughs> we, we, we had a discussion about this. Now after a very healthy debate, minutes of Google searching, we discovered the A1 birdcage variants of this Corsair had the window. But we're not sure about the bubble top. Um, maybe it's just there. So I have a simple one model for between both, you paint different. However, if you do know that the bubble top variant had the window for bombing, let us know down in the comments because we're, we want to look up more further into this. But that is an amazing little detail add. I, I had no clue a fighter would ever have a window on the bottom because I don't want to get shot from there and have bullets fly up into my torso, that would suck. Um, but at the same time, it makes sense to have a window for bombings, which the Corsair was a bomber at the same time. It was one of those multi-purpose rule of fighters. She's an awesome bird. Now as a final detail, let's look at these flaps. And with that, we'll get her off the flight stand and back on her own wheels. Just takes a moment. Okay. Man, she's a... She's got some heft, but she is, she is a beautiful plane.
a little bit longer than I was expecting. So actuating these flaps, we actually do see a nice split at all them give us three flaps. And to actually give us that full motion, we have two servos on each flap set. Which is nice, because I'll make sure they come down nicely, they're even, beautiful set of flaps. And with that, it's time to get ready for the Maiden. Which, going through my mind at this point, slightly terrifying. She is a big plane, lots of power. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Well, stay tuned for that Maiden. Until next time, keep flying. So, so as you can see, there's a fair degree of commitment that we at Angry Zeppelin have for you, our viewers. It's so true. All of this comes out of our own pockets, so please be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and let us know in the comments down below what else you'd like to see here on Angry Zeppelin. Until next time, keep, keep flying! flying. It's time to see how fast you'll go. Let's see, why should the pull?